Jenny to for that and you are welcome back to my YouTube channel once again if you are new here my name is Gina this channel I create content about my life as a housemaid in South Africa okay so if you are new here please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button okay so that anytime I upload a new video you'll be the first person to see the video okay almost getting to 500 subscribers please take me to 500 please by the ending of this month please 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 take me to 500 subscribers okay okay so without wasting my time okay let's get straight into the video so today kitchen hazard okay we have occupational hazard and now we are talking about yeah that's our occupational we are working here as a housemaid that's our job so let's talk about the hazard and the other petty petty mistakes that we do that it gave us an accident at our kitchen or at our workplace some things maybe we can manage okay to reduce the accident most house helps get a lot of accidents see myself me myself I have an accident okay I cut myself maybe one day I will share a story about how I got this cut on my hand maybe it was a careless okay I can I'm prevent but I couldn't okay so let me talk about some of the things we have to be very careful about it okay so the first one is sleeping you can sleep on the floor you know the towels the kitchens are towels okay and let's say you are frying and when oil gets into the floor, maybe you may think, oh, I'm busy later, I will clean it. My dear, as soon as the oil gets into the floor, please find some time. Make sure you clean it as early as possible, okay? Don't leave it and say, maybe later I'll come and clean it. You can forget, you can, and you are working around the same place. You can flip on the, on the floor, okay, where the oil is. It, it can slip you. You are working and water gets into the floor make sure you clean it as early as possible okay don't leave it because it can happen that the kids may be coming around to play and they can fall down and you know you are the one taking care of the house so they will put the blame on you okay think about your your safety also so as soon as the oil or water fall on the ground please let make sure or anything that that's sleepy on the floor let's make sure we will clean it as early as possible you know here the work we are doing we don't have any family relative okay so as soon as you get a problem my dear they don't care you work with the problem okay so let's take care of this and then the other one is fire make sure when you are cooking those house may even it doesn't go with the, those who cook if you are if you put something on the oven or you are cooking food please don't leave it for a long time especially those who have access to their food you can put food on the oven and they may sit somewhere talking to friends doing calls with the family for a long time maybe you may forget that you are cooking at the kitchen okay so let's make sure that every day will be close to where we are cooking or close to where there's a fire because if it, it gets to fire outbreak remember it's not the only arab people who are going to burn you are also in the same house with them and you can also burn okay you can burn so make sure we reduce fire outbreak as a house help let's make sure we are not leaving stoves while it's on for a long time and be at somewhere working somewhere or far away from where the oven is okay so let's be very careful about this and then another one is cutting yourself okay make sure whenever you are cutting onion tomatoes anything you are cutting make sure you use chopping board that's why there's a chopping board at the kitchen okay don't go and use your hand to cut it like the way sometimes we do it in africa if you are in africa maybe we have more experience about doing that but since we are here and there's a too much pressure on us make sure any little thing you cut use a cutting board don't use your hand because if you cut your hand you are going to put it in the water to clean utensils they are not going to tell you that you have cut your hand so sit somewhere and wait for the wound to heal no they are not going to do that okay you use it to work 
So make sure you get out of cutting yourself. Always make sure you use the chopping board and the right way to cut or to chop things in the kitchen. Be very careful. Don't hit yourself like the way I have get this mark here. Please don't do that. And also bends. Whenever you are cooking, you know it's hot. They have racks there. Please take some rag and use it to pick it. Okay? Don't use your hand. Don't think you are doing it like African style. You know how we do it in Africa. Sometimes the thing is very hot, but we are trying to use our hand to pick it because of laziness. Please go for rag. Okay? Use the napkins at the kitchen to pick that hot saucepan or hot frying pan. Please don't use your hand. Okay? to remove or to take any hot things at the kitchen don't cause harm to yourself and also make sure um chemicals 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 this country the work we are doing it's it's full of chemicals washing bathroom chemical washing utensils chemical chlorix is it the right name chlorix yes you are using chlorix to clean kitchen uh, utensils. You are also using chlorix to clean um, dresses. You are using it to clean the washroom. You are using flash. Make sure whenever you are using flash at the kitchen, flash can get you blind, okay? It can make you collapse. So whenever you use flash or chlorix at the kitchen, make sure you get yourself a gloves. So washrooms, whenever you are cleaning the washroom, make sure you get yourself a gloves. If there is acrylics in the water, get yourself gloves, okay? Even if your people are not buying a gloves for you, please. Pharmacy or more, it, it's not that much expensive to buy gloves for yourself, okay? Get yourself a gloves. Whenever you are cleaning a uh, washroom, wear your gloves, protect yourself, okay? Make sure you are not going to use too much acrylics in the water because it's going to affect your eyes. If you stay here for a long time, it can happen that you go home and you get a eye problem okay so use more little amount amount of acrylics okay and and washing powder to clean the washroom you know these people they always want to smell the scent of the acrylics it's like a food to them i don't know so after cleaning the washroom for them then you pour the acrylics there and get out okay don't pour a lot of acrylics in the kitchen kitchen floor and be there standing inside okay be very careful otherwise you can get a eye problem of the acrylics and also whenever you are using flash make sure you put the flash at the washroom and leave it for about two or three hours okay for all the scents to come out before you go and stand there even when you are going to clean make sure you use water to wash all the flash from the washroom before you pour your um washing powder and chlorics water to it okay because those chemicals they don't work together if you add chlorics and and flash and washing powder together please you are going to cause a lot of harm to you you are going to cause a lot of disaster to yourself you can't breathe your breath can cease and you can die as early as possible if you mix these three chemicals together okay so be very careful when you are cleaning at the washrooms and also the towels at the washroom sometimes it's very slippy okay so it can flip you okay so whenever you are cleaning washrooms especially the floor make sure you be very careful okay be very very careful so that you don't fail i remember the other day i was cleaning upstairs a washroom i fell down but god was so faithful to me that my head couldn't get to the where the wc is because if my head get to where the wc is but now i don't know where i would like i would be okay so make sure you are not going to fall down at the washroom otherwise you can die okay so be very very careful mm -hmm. and also be careful when you are using a, a machine like blenders and other stuff at the kitchen anything that's machine that can can harm you Please make sure you be very, very careful when using it, okay? Even if they are calling you or they are giving you pressure, make sure you pay attention to what you are doing. Make sure you are safe before them, okay? Because they, these people, if you follow them, follow them with their pressure, by the time you get home, you will get a lot of problems 
for yourself so make sure you be very careful when you are using machines or sharp objects at the kitchen if you can't do it please tell them this machine i can't use it okay they will come and operate it before you go and harm yourself or in the name of housework okay and also we you know this work we are doing we are using our manual we are not, we are not using anything automatic or anything machine okay we are manual we are using everything by our strength okay so whenever you are pulling or you are picking something big from the floor or you are taking something here that's a huge that it has a weight or you are pushing please make sure you are not going to use all your strength especially your waist okay some things you can't you don't have to use your waist to to pick it from the floor use this your place that will help you because if you don't take care your your bones or your spinal cord can be affected or your waist bones can be affected okay so always make sure everything that you push or you take that it's heavy take it small small okay like whenever they bring water a lot of water boxes you know housemates can relate to this okay make sure you take it one by one okay don't say that i have a lot of work that i need to attend to or this one is called this person is calling me so i'm in hurry i want to finish my dear you are not going anywhere okay if someone called you attend to the person after that go and pick the water one by one okay don't use two boxes meanwhile you are not an azuma nelson or you are not a mayweather you you don't have that strength to do that and also you are not doing it for only a day you'll be doing it continuously since you are still in the house so pick it one by one if it's heavy please tell them that this thing is heavy i can't take it even if they force you to take it tell them that your strength cannot reach there okay so if someone will come and help you the person will come and help you if they will not come and help you they should go and find people outside for them to come and pick it for them i'm talking about something that's uh, very heavy okay but there's pretty pretty heavy heavy small small things in the house when you are picking it be very careful okay don't be like you want to be a superwoman because these arab people we don't do things they don't we don't do things to praise them okay they don't appreciate your work they don't care whether you are trying to support their family or not they don't care okay so don't come and show your superwoman in this arab's people's house otherwise you go home with a broken waist or your broken bones okay so be very careful about that and also store all the chemicals things all the chemicals in the house like Chronix, flash, soap, anything that is a poisonous substance, okay? Make sure you keep it at where when you get to their house, you know? Whenever you get to their house, they have a place that they keep all those stuff there, okay? Whenever you take it to work, make sure you take it back to wherever it is, okay? Because it can happen, maybe you may leave it at anywhere carelessly. The kids are in the house, they can take it, okay? If a, a kid take a poisonous substance or this chemical substance, you know what's going to happen and it can end you in jail. Okay? So make sure you keep it at where they have kept it. Make sure you place it nicely. Otherwise, in case you are going to take it to yourself, it can fall on you. And when a, this chemical substance fell on you, a huge problem. You can be blind. Okay? Let's, so let us be very, very careful about the chemicals we used to clean the house let's store them nicely whenever you take anything from wherever you take it okay make sure you place it to where you take it nicely so that it's not going to cause any harm to you mm -hmm. otherwise you know these people they don't care about you okay don't leave hot oil like you know these people they eat hamburger they say hamburger 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 sour hamburger this one be saying sour hamburger you know flying burger and potatoes in arab people's house is like you know, it's like <laughs> i don't know how how how, how like 
I will frame it, but please, we use a lot of oil to fly, okay? Whenever you are flying for them, make sure the oil is hot so you also stay a little bit away from I said, don't show your superwoman, your African star in Arab people's house, okay? Because when you show in Ghana, that's where I come from, or in Africa. If you show your superwoman and you get a problem, your mom or your family, your families are there to support you, to get your healing. But this Arab people's house, if you show your superwoman and you get a problem, they are not going to support you. They are not going to take care of you. They don't care about you, okay? So make sure when the oil is hot and you are using it, make sure you take care. You be very careful so that you don't go and burn yourself after using the hot oil please don't say you are busy they are calling you i know how sometimes the pressure they put on us but make sure everything you will do you are very careful about it because your life is also important okay don't leave the oil you have used to fly the potatoes and the hamburger and other stuff that hot on the stove okay as soon as you finish frying it please use the rag and pick it and put it to maybe under the oven or wherever you're supposed to okay you know the stove they have oven side please take it to wherever you you took that oil from okay don't leave it on the stove because it can happen your something you know big dress we wear it can get to where the stove harness and it can fall back the hot oil can pour on you and also the kids may come to the kitchen you know, these kids, they are something else, okay? The kids can come to the kitchen and when they get to the kitchen, they can go and hold it. Because when for them, they, when the fire is their cry, they want to go. I don't know how, they, whether it's beautiful for them or not, okay? So if the child go and hold that, um, the frying pan, the handle, the oil will come and pour on the baby. And please, you can get to jail when things like this happen so let's be very very careful about whatever we do in this people's house okay let's be very careful any electrical gadgets in the house you know the plugs and the fuse and other stuff whenever you see there's a problem please don't try to play your superwoman don't say i can make it just go and call them when there's a, something small at the kitchen, electricals and other stuff, attend to them. Tell them this is the problem. Please, don't share your superwoman. Don't say you can make it. Otherwise, the electric can shock you and you'll be obituary in this people's house. And you know how negative things are going on. You know, maybe it's your own careless that caused that. But they may think different all things together okay so these are the uh, basic basic things i know this video will be very long but it's most important video very very important very important you need to pay attention to what we are doing the precautions the safety we need to take all these precautions okay we need to place everything like the way it's supposed to be although we are working but sometimes we need to think about ourselves we need to think about our life too okay so be careful be careful because if arab kids took a chlorix you know a baby like if you have your own baby you can take anything on the floor if you misplace something you may think because you don't know anything whether it's good or bad the person can drink it okay and it, it can take you to jail you can even cost problem for yourself okay so let's take all these precautions a kitchen hazard very well so that we can do this work and go home safely don't go home with a mic like me please be very careful okay so this will be the end of the video if you like this video please comment like and subscribe to this channel and put that notification button on so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first person to see this video always remember no condition is permanent bow with that day will surely come and if you were house helping you are the most strongest woman ever on this earth okay
don't let anybody underestimate you because that's what you do for living that's what you do to survive okay but means that day will surely come always remember no condition is permanent until i meet you in my next video stay safe bye for now